uh, say their name, what party they're representing, and uh, 30 seconds. Hi, my name is Hong Da. I'm running for post for representative under the Brown Party. As, as, as we mentioned before by our PNLVP, we hope to make life better for Columbia students through first two small steps, not too much on the big goals first, but everyday, day-to-day -day things that matter. In 30 seconds, I would say that is the core takeaway you have to take from our party platform. All right, thank you. Your word, trying to speak Thank you. Okay, thanks. My name is Catherine Sang, and I'm with the Ham Party. And um, as uh, Spencer and Adam previously said, we're all about accessibility. We want to make uh, your lives easier. We want you to have subsidized metro cards. It's easier. To, it's more your life. It's more accessible to the city. Uh, we want to have our textbook marketplace, so it's easier for you to get um, cheap textbooks at reasonable prices. <coughs> and um, my big push was for our CCSC open hours which are exactly what they sound like. They're very casual. They're one-on-one. -on -one. We'll have to rent a room in Butler or we're somewhere there. And then Hi. you can come and take your problems to us. My name is Elias Tavares. I'm with the Ham Party. You just heard of some of the things that we want. The main thing that I'm pushing for the Ham Party is town hall meetings. In the town hall meetings, students and administrators will get to know one another and create a sense of unity. Because we are all part of the Columbia community and we can about the administrators and we have to work together in order to create more unity and cohesion. Hi, I'm Georgia. I'm running with Hugo Hamilton. And one of the main things that I wanted to bring to Columbia is going out to New York City. I know that that's one of the main reasons I decided to go to Columbia, and I heard that over and over again during Insoft that people want to experience New York City. And a lot of the events we have are on campus or in our little area here. I think it would be a shame if we don't go out and experience and go. Um, hi, I'm Reed Simmons. I'm with the Fresh Start Party, and we are very much about empowering the uh, Columbia student, um, mainly through subsidizing Metro cards, reforming the Package Center, and providing funding for freshman led clubs. However, student government is more than overarching promises. As a VP of my senior class, I was always hands on. And it's about getting to know people and making sure stuff is done <coughs> in the way possible. Thank you. I am Justin. I've had plenty of experience at the table. I have four years of student government in high school. I was a student body treasurer as a senior. Um, I'm with Fresh Start with Ricardo and Mina. Something that they didn't get to mention um, was our package center reform. I know a lot of you guys have struggled with the package center. Um, and we, have, we actually have an idea of how to help us out. Um, I think one of the problems is that they just simply don't have enough people at the Pike Center, so we're going to open up work study positions at the Pike Center, and we can also open up work study positions to deliver your packages to your door. So we can create a website time. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, I'm Becky Lavi, and I'm running with the Fresh Start 2019 party. And I say something really important that Ricardo and me touched on is that we are going to have all sorts of community events and things like that to bind us together as a class to really make us into a family and make it so that this freshman year with subsidization for things that you want can make it so that you can really feel like you're making your own mark on the community and also feel like you get to know the people in your class. Thank you. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Gage Hodgson. I am not part of a party I'm running as an individual or class representative. Um, I'd say the thing that sets me apart from most people that speak is I'm not running on a specific set of platforms or goals that I want to accomplish because I got here three weeks ago. I don't know what the problems are. I believe, though, that I um, will be passionate, competent, and work as hard as I can to represent both the class of 2019 and Columbia students in general. So, vote for me. Hi, uh, everyone. My name is Brian Lightgage. I'm also not affiliated with any one party or I guess an independent. Um, so for me, I'm incredibly passionate about you know, serving the interests of the student body. It has an extension of our class, <coughs> as well as improving the general quality of life for our class. So um, the way I'll do that is, uh, one, obviously identifying and addressing problems that I'm noticing that students have told me that they have problems with or that I, I just know. Uh, one thing that several students have already talked about is, you know, problems with what happens there. I think one of the biggest things isn't necessarily. 
heard before. The reason why our party, Pent Up 292, is different is we don't promise themes, we promise concrete ideas. And furthermore, we're different in one more way, which is that we understand our cost constraints. We don't have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to blow on metro cards and things like certain programs like hiring workers. Like That's not something student government can do. But we understand our cost constraints. We have the time and money to go door to door, or to, to go for, like, for example, to go to the dining hall, encourage the food swipes that we can get any dining hall. Right. 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 Yes, that's what we're doing. Yeah, that's yep. actually like what we were hoping for. We were wanting to have you guys introduce yourselves a little bit. Awesome, uh, so, <coughs> since you suggested it, would you like to uh, pose the first question? Yes, actually, I have a couple of questions. Um, so my, okay. <laughs> uh, so my first my question is for the Tea Party. You guys talk about how you want to utilize uh, the dining halls so the food that isn't wasted gets donated, basically. Right? You want to get better in New York City and hopefully a better international community. So uh, there's a really program called City Harvest in which all the food every week that is isn't used already gets donated. So how is your program any more unique than that? That program is already set into place. Why is your unique? I don't know how you can say that uh, there's no food being wasted because I go to the uh, dining halls every day. I was there this morning and I saw food being thrown in the trash. So something is fundamentally wrong with this system. If uh, I can see food being put in the trash can, uh, it's not working. So I'm not, I'm not eating my food, so I'm throwing it away. So how are you going to kind of like take away the food on my plate and go give it to that homeless person? Uh, I'm not going, going uh, no, that's not what I'm going to do, but I don't know why you wouldn't want to give it to that, that's person. Well, yeah, that, that, there's already a plan of sense. Okay, guys, really quickly, we're going to give it to you. I have one more question. I'm sorry, we gave you a question. We gave you a question. I have a question. We gave you a question. to give to use the metro class to upper middle class students. So my question is this, who's going to pay for it? If who's paying for it, what are your plans to make sure that it just doesn't come back to me in terms of a higher student life fee? All right, so I'll answer your question. Okay, so one of the things that you said that you said that it would be paying for upper middle class students, you fail to realize that many of the students that go to school are low income and cannot afford to go to the city often. So that's one of the things that you don't see. And another thing is that the school, they pay for things like laundry, they pay for things for us to have the access to the mat so we can go there. So why can't we also have free metro cards if it's within our range? We have to be able to push and push harder than ever before to get the things that we want. But we have to be willing to push, and that's the thing that we're going to do. We're going to push in those stations. Yeah, well, I'd like to jump in on that. So I've spoken to RAs, people who have been part of councils before, and one thing that we can do is subsidize metro cards for specific trips. We can't just give metric cards to everyone. What we can do, let's go to the Met, right? We assign 30 people for a group to go to the Met, and then, then we can subsidize these trips for people who may have low income issues, right? These are things that we can do. So they're promising a little bit larger size scales, larger scale things like that. But we can do trips and subsidize metric cards. And things again, feasibility is important in planning these things that we want to do. And that's why, and that's why like, we put on a platform such as NYC, because we recognize that this was something feasible. We didn't want to say something, we didn't want to say something broad like, oh, so that's all that's like, always. But we did put, we did specifically say, such as like, trips, because we know that something feasible when it's planned out, we have a specific number of people, but not the necessarily the broad. Uh, jumping in on this, um, going to high school in the city, there are already programs for having subsidized subsidized metric cards. My high school, for example, and many schools across the city already get free rides through the week so that you know, those that can afford to pay the MTA the like dollar amount every time can get to school on the city's budget. And it's definitely something that, given enough force, could be expanded. How much money would you allocate to this? And where, from, from which budget would you take money? Well, hopefully we organize a way to talk to the city, try to work between Columbia and the city to find funding for the initiative. Um, Somewhere, <coughs> how much money do you I mean, Columbia is one of the largest endowments in the entire world. Okay, I, think, I think it's fair to say that you guys will have a better chance to study the budget once you're elected, and so right yeah, now it would be very difficult to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, actually, 
very short on time. If everyone could uh, just give a very short 15 second speech, I will be doing the scary table knocking thingy. Uh, but real quick, just summarize your platform and say why you should be elected. Again, uh, you can say your speech. We're going to start this way. Again, the wrong party is me. It's a good part. I'm Dane of Anton 292, and when we like to have a lot of fun in debates, we are very down to earth people. And we have, we, we have concrete ideas, and a lot of things we like to do, especially expanding the dining hall, so I just want to emphasize that. So once you sign into a dining hall, you have an hour to go to any dining hall on campus. Peace and hands. I'm Sam Smart, I'm Anton 292. I'd also like to like, invite everybody to go on our website and look at our platform. If there's anything that you can poke a hole in, like, we will like, literally stop running. Like, there's everything that we are have advocated for, everything we have on our platform is very much doable. We're not we're, uh, giving like, huge ideas that are not doable. Everything we are proposing is doable. Hands up 292, Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex, I'm also Hands up 292. I feel like all the ideas have been very noble today. Everyone talks about compassion. We all care about the colors, thank you very much. I feel like we're the only party that has a compromise between pragmatism and compassion, and therefore we are the only practical choice for Columbia College Student Council. Sorry, works. <laughs> uh, I'm Dana, 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 I'
And just in when we were starting and planning our platform, we had all these huge ideas, but we looked at the budget and we did kind of narrow down. I'm Justin Chang, Fresh Start. Something I want to say about our speed dating mixers, which separates them from the other events people are doing, is that our speed dating mixers aren't just events where you go with your friend group, grab food, and drink weed. These are events where you're actually going to meet new freshmen. Like, we're randomly pairing you up with other people to meet new people during, during the year. Yeah. Um, Simmons, Fresh Start. Uh, just to say, I'm a hands-on representative. I grab, grabble with the problems. I'm Get them done. I've done it before, and I want to do it here. Right. Hi, I'm Georgia Allen We go Hamilton, and our group will help everyone get to know each other better, and also get to know the city better, which is what we really are trying to do. We want to explore New York City, so vote for us. My name is Elias. I'm with the Ham Party. We not only have passion, but we have ideas. We vote for us. We're going to get them done. We look at things from all levels of diversity and socioeconomic class. So we vote for us. It's a vote for the entire economy. I'm Catherine, and also with the Party. Um, we are about accessibility that's easy on your wallets. So we've got access to the city, we've got access to textbooks, and come to our CCSC open hours to address the problems, large or small, both for now. I come back from the wrong party to be honest, some of the policies I look based on is they're running for NYC City Hall and not City Council. <laughs> the wrong party stands against this. We want real practical solutions that work and that Columbus students can see in their day to day, not just 20 years down the road. Katie like wanted to be part of our team. Like when I talked to her about it, she like immediately wanted to join us because you know, in her high school she was part of student government. You know she really dedicated herself to like improving her school. She organized her prom and like drastically cut the cost of attending the event. Because Katie's not only committed to students but like showing everyone, but also to making tangible changes in the school, just like everyone in our party. All right. Awesome. Start the ESC candidate. Uh, in like 10 minutes. In like 10 minutes.